Let's talk about walking bass. Let's talk about creating um, a sound on the guitar that incorporates um, the sound that a jazz rhythm section makes, which is this sound, the bass line, and the chords. But together. Get into it. So this technique is um, totally different skill. So here's what most guitar players know how to do. Just strumming. Right? And then playing lines. Whatever, right? Those two are usually separate, but this is kind of like doing both at the same time. One is a moving single line, while the other, the other part of it is playing more than one note at the same time. And the way I do this usually is I play the bass line with a thumb, and then I play the chords with these three fingers. So, so let's just take that. I just played on the bass. Starting on the 5th fret, 5th fret, this is the very low string, E string, 5, 7, 8, 7, 5, see that? And then I was barring this whole thing though, at the same time, so that way my other fingers could play the D string, G string, B string to play the chord, so like this. See that? As the rest of my fingers are playing the chord, my thumb is picking out the bass line. <clears throat> now let's talk about what kind of chords is really useful for this style. And they're known as drop two or drop three chords. And these are chords that are really useful because <clears throat> if you know the shape of one, you can move it around. So for example, this shape right here, I'm on the fifth fret, on the E string, I'm on the fifth fret, e, uh, fifth fret on the D string, fifth fret on the G string, fifth fret on the B string. And what I'll do is I'll, um, I can move it. And when it's on the fifth fret, it's A minor seven. But when it's on the, third fret is G minor 7. So in that way it's really useful. It creates the same quality of chord but uh, the root is a different pitch depending on where you move it. So let's take this chord progression 2, 5, 1 and G major 7 or G major and it's A minor 7 the first chord I just showed you D9 G major 7 so I can go like this. I'll take G major 7 for 2 bars. So how do I know what bass notes to use when I'm creating this bass line? Now there's no one answer and it's not a simple answer because a lot of basses do it Differently. <laughs> now, here's the role of the bass at the very, very um, basic level. And it's that you, the bass plays the root. For example, if we have the A minor 7, is the A. And then the fifth, which is the E. So very simply, the bass line will be like this. Four, one, two, three, four, one. So there I'm 
just playing the root and the five. Root five. Root five. Root five. See that? Now that's the that's a very basic bass line that you can play. <coughs> Here's one that I like. I go to root uh two second third fifth and then the next chord so and they're usually on the quarter notes so one two three four one two three four one two three four one so try to put them on the quarter notes sometimes they're on the off beats the off eight notes so here i did Root two minor third fifth root of D nine seven of D nine six of D nine. Um, here is the uh, fifth of D nine, and then G two of G third of G fifth of G. So that's something that you can use. Root second third. Fifth and then the next one, next chord. That's something that people do. Here's another thing that bassists do is approaching the root chromatically. What chromatically means is just a fret below or a fret above. So for example, this A minor seven, you can approach this root by going a fret lower or a fret higher. So for example, like this. Let's say I'm going A minor seven. G7, G7, G major 7, G major 7, and I need to go to this A, A minor 7, the root of the A minor 7, which is the A, so I, I'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, so I'll approach it a fret below chromatically, or from a fret above, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, that sounds really good, 1, 2, See that? One, two, three, four. I approach this D, the root of the new chord, D, D9, chromatically. See that? And one more time, I did it again. I approach this G, the root of this G major 7, chromatically. And I can even, I can do it uh, not from above, from below too. Two, See that? Ba, ba, ba. So yeah, just a few tips on how to do it. It's just a lot of multitasking. Just try it out. Let me know what you think.